Hey, good morning. How you doing? I broke the cardinal rule when I drank my water. I lost eye contact with you. Mm. I didn't do it that time. You probably know what I'm talking about. If you pay attention to the fake news out there, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, good to be here. Sorry, I'm a little late. I know I said I'll be here at 9 o'clock. It's now 9.03. But the dog's bladder had other ideas. So I had to let the dogs out do their business. Yes. You know when they said, who let the dogs out? That was me. <coughs> anyway. Today I got five coins to give away. Five coins. We got the winners already picked out. Jason's going to post them here in a second. But uh, here's what we're giving away. Five one-ounce silver coins. Valued anywhere from $20, $25. I know it uh, might not seem like a lot, but hey, it's 25 bucks, man. You can go cash this in if you want or keep it, carry it around as your good luck piece that I gave you. But here's one of them. Uh, this is a different version of the prospector I showed yesterday. So I went to Grant Union High School and our mascot was Prospector and I just happened to get these in the mail yesterday. So that's uh, one of the, the versions. Uh, in order to qualify to win the silver coin giveaway, and I'm giving away five of them a day, you can apply uh, multiple times as long as you abide by the rules. So the rules are uh, share the video, tag a friend in the video, and hashtag Fortress Credit Pro or Bad Credit is a choice. So if you want to win multiple times or be entered to win multiple times, uh, just tag a different friend each time. Because if it's the same friend over and over again, Jason Green is going to disqualify you. So if you want to have more than one chance, share the video, tag a new friend at each time, Hashtag Fortress Credit Pro or Bad Credit is a choice, and you will be entered into the daily drawing of uh, silver coins. And I might start doing more a day uh, because I have several hundred to give away. I might even give away some gold. Uh, here's another one. This is Liberty. This is one of the Liberty coins. I just think they're cool. You know, the nice thing with silver is it it's real money. It's not backed by the government's ability to tax you. It's, it's actual real money, silver and gold. Uh, you can take silver or gold anywhere in the world and exchange it for something of value. Silver and gold never go up in value. Uh, they, if the value fluctuates based on the fiat currency, but never really goes up or down in value. The nice thing with silver is anyone really can afford to buy it. I mean, today silver is sixteen fifty an ounce. Tomorrow it might be twenty five, but anyone can afford to get it. And I recommend you start getting some silver. Here's a, a Freedom coin. I know this camera really doesn't do it much justice, but this is a a beautiful coin. Uh, it's it's actually Methuselah, but now that I look a little closer, but it's still a cool coin. But it's Freedom with Methuselah. That's kind of weird. And let's see, this one is a Ram. Year of the Ram 2015. So any Ram buffs out there, rough Ram buffs, Ram fans, there, there was the Rams and the Buffaloes in Colorado. That's why I screwed that up. But that's one. And then the last one is Noah's Ark. There's Noah's Ark. Uh, that one's kind of cool. You know, they're, and they're intricate, right? And then if you, you prefer the other prospector, just let me know when we, uh, I'm going to have Jason or I will direct message you. Uh, but if you prefer the square prospector, uh, we'll give it. So we got these five coins to give away. Who are the winners? Let me go over the winners real quick and then I'll get on today's topic of uh, why you should never use a debit card. What happened to me yesterday after doing my video of why you should never carry a social security card in your purse or wallet. Jason, I can't find the uh, the list. It's not showing it here for me. So if you can repost it, Jason, uh, the list of the winners because it's, oh, there it is. That's why I'm not driving because I knew I was gonna have to do this. I got Joe, uh, 
Michael Stone is today's winner. Joy Lynn McCavick. Jeffrey Quinta. I just butchered that name. I'm sorry, Jeffrey. I should know how to say your last name. Uh, I mean, I, I can't see the rest of them. Jason, is there just three? There should be five. Five winners, Jason. I can only see three. So if you can post the rest of them there, I'd appreciate it, Jason. Uh, Michael Stone, Joy Lynn, Jeffrey, oh, Kim Osborne. That's four. I'm missing one, Jeff, uh, Jason. So let's get to the video. Why you should never carry a debit card in your wallet or your purse. Yesterday, I did a video on why you should never carry multiple credit cards and never carry a social security card in your wallet or purse. It's a bad idea. It is a recipe for disaster. Yesterday, I'm sitting there after work, reading, having dinner, and I got an email from Redbox. And Redbox said, congratulations, you scored a discount on your most recent purchase at Redbox. And I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. Redbox, that I supposedly bought this rented Elf, a movie that I probably would never rent. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, it was about 25 miles away, down in Henderson. So I thought, well, that's weird. And so I clicked on it and it said, well, someone might have entered your email address. And I have a very unique email address, so that wasn't it. So I went into chase.com and not only did I rent Elf 25 miles away, but I also went to Taco Bell and I spent $9 at Taco Bell. So obviously it wasn't me. Joy, you just found out you won. So congratulations, Joy. Uh, I'll need your address to mail you that coin. Last year I did this and and somebody chewed me out saying it was fake and he wasn't going to give me his address. Now, if you don't give me your address, I can't mail it to you. This is not Bitcoin. This is real money. Real money. So I got to physically send it to you. Doesn't that sound good? All right, so I'm doing this. Uh, I did the video yesterday on it, and I'm sitting there, and I get this alert. I go to chase.com, and someone is shopping. Fortunately, I don't carry a debit card, but I did have a panic moment. I had a panic panic moment because I didn't take my wallet to work yesterday, and I forgot it uh, in my in my drawer upstairs, and so I actually panicked, thinking, "What if I lost my wallet?" Here, I just did a video about why you should never carry a social security card. How ironic would that be, and how would, much would it suck that I lost my wallet that had a couple grand? in cash in it, plus the credit cards, which is not a good idea uh, to carry that much cash, but I do uh, for other reasons. But so I, I ran upstairs and sure enough there, you know, I left my wallet right where I thought and there was the card. Yes, I am not, as you can see, I am not, I'm not blocking the number. That's my credit card. You can see the number, clearly see the number, clearly see my name, hopefully on there. I know it's backwards. Ending in 0203. I'm not blocking it. Crazy? No, because it already got shut down. So there's the number. Someone cloned it. Literally someone cloned my credit card. How? I have no idea. No clue. I mean, I went on there. I looked at all the purchases. The last time, I, last place I went to was a chiropractor. I don't think he did anything wrong. But it got cloned somewhere. Maybe at some red box. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe online. Maybe I used it at Home Depot. I don't know. But this card right here got cloned. All right, thanks for posting all those winners, Jason. This is why, or for that reason rather, is why you should never carry a debit card with you. You should never use a debit card. It is a recipe for disaster. 
Real quick, if you want a chance at winning five, or a chance at winning one of these five beautiful one ounce silver coins valued anywhere from uh, 20 to $25, here's what you gotta do. Share the video, tag a friend, hashtag Fortress Credit Pro, or bad credit is a choice, one of those two things. And you can enter multiple times a day and on multiple videos as long as you tag and share it with a new friend. And I'll be doing this uh, for at least another 11 days. I'm kind of doing it as a 12 days of Christmas. All right, so back to why you should never carry a debit card. What happens with that? 76% of all Americans, 76%, that's a huge number. 76% of working Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Now let that soak in. 76% of working Americans live paycheck to paycheck. I'm not going to lose eye contact. See how I did that? Like a real pro. All right. 76% of working Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Now, yesterday I caught this. What's funny is about uh, six years ago, the same thing happened to Michelle, and it was McDonald's and Toys R Us. But I don't know why they went to Redbox and spent a dollar sixty there and eight nine bucks at uh, nine dollars at Taco Bell. They spent like eleven dollars. Man, they should have gone on a real shopping spree, right? Twenty thousand dollar credit limit, clone the card. They could have got busy. But what would have happened if instead of being $11.50, whatever it was, <coughs> what if it happened if it was $1,100? You know, I got to go home. I got to get some cough syrup. Excuse me. I've had this cold for a month and I can't get rid of it. I'm going to the doctor tomorrow because, you know, if you know my past, I, I'm susceptible to pneumonia and I've had it now six times. The uh, first time, or the last serious time, it put me in the hospital for six days in ICU. So, can't mess around with it. But I got to go home and get some cough syrup. But 76% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. All right? 76%. Now, what would have happened is if instead of them spending $11, they spent $1,100? And it was on my debit card. And I live paycheck to paycheck. Or if I lived paycheck to paycheck. What would have happened if it was the 30th of the month? And now they took $1,100 out of my checking account. See, the difference between a debit card, a Visa debit card, and a Visa, Visa, real Visa, not covering up the numbers because it already got hacked. But the difference between a Visa debit card and a Visa card is Visa will issue me a credit usually within 24 hours. And it's just a credit, you know, it's just a charge on a credit card. So it doesn't affect rent, car insurance, to buy groceries. But when you use a debit card, you're giving those hackers, those criminals, those thieves, access to your checking account for the next three to six months. See, with the credit card, I simply made a phone call. They immediately asked, well, have you ever shopped at Redbox? I said, sure. Well, we need to make sure it's fraud. I'm like, well, it's 25 miles away from me. I'm sitting at home with the credit card in my hand. I know it's fraud. And they watched, they rented Elf. Plus, they're at Taco Bell. And I don't eat at Toxic Hell because it turns toxic, if you know what I mean. So what would have happened if it was $1,100 instead of $11? And I lived paycheck to paycheck. Could I pay rent? Could I afford to buy groceries? Would my electricity bill not be paid because it was shut off? If I lived paycheck to paycheck like 76%, of American households, could I afford to lose a paycheck? Could you afford to lose a paycheck? 
Could you afford to have your checking account locked and locked down and frozen for the next three months? Could you afford that? Could you survive without a paycheck for a week or two weeks or a month? When you use a debit card, you're literally playing Russian roulette with your checking account and your paycheck because you're giving the world access to that. See, when you have fraud on a debit card, you have to prove to the bank that it was fraud. You have to prove it. Versus with Visa, when I called yesterday, I said it was fraud. They immediately closed down this account. They're shipping me a new card. And now the merchant has to prove it wasn't fraud. I don't have to prove anything. And unfortunately, some people use and abuse this strategy called chargebacks. So you should never use a debit card, ever, when out shopping. You shouldn't carry a debit card. Now, the only time I ever use my debit card is when I go to the bank and I walk into the bank and I swipe, I put it in the little machine, I put in my password, because I don't want to fill out the deposit slip when I go to cash checks or take money out. I rarely ever pull cash out of an ATM machine. The only time I would do that is, um, I, I went to Mexico a couple weeks ago and I pulled the cash out at an ATM at a Western Union. Actually, no, it wouldn't, I, I didn't do that. I was going to, but then I saw the Western Union lady was there, so I went and pulled it out that way by her swiping it. But if the bank's open, I go inside the bank. I know it's more convenient to get the cash out of the ATM machine outside and not go in the bank, but there could be what, what they call a skimmer. And someone skimmed this card somewhere. This is my personal card that I use at restaurants, gas stations, um, chiropractor, anything that's personal. Remember I said I carry a business card? I carry a personal card. That was the personal card that I've been carrying for a long time. And you can see it is well worn down. And there's the back. There is no CVC code. It's completely worn down. And it's time for a new one anyway, right? But what would have happened if that was my debit card and they would have locked up my checking account for the next 30 days? What if it was only for the next three, four days? If 76% of American households live paycheck to paycheck, could you, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, can you go two weeks without a paycheck? If they would have took $1,100 from me versus $11, I could survive. But could you survive? Would you have to beg, borrow, and steal to get that money back? Would you yourself have to do something that you don't want to do in order to pay your bills? The other stat is 67% of Americans could not come up with $500 if there was an emergency. Is that you? If I asked you right now, Rashawn, I need 500 bucks. Could you give it to me? Sean Laughlin right now, he's on. If your car broke down, could you come up with 500 bucks? If you got a flat tire, could you come up with it? Now, I know these numbers are true. 67% of Americans said they couldn't come up with $500 if there was an emergency. Recently, I had a client hire me. And he was referred by Grant Cardone. And... Things were going great. He was telling me how much money he was making. He had a little hiccup a couple years ago. Now he's back in the groove, making a ton. It's not what he said, but you know what I'm saying. Making a ton of money. And then I saw a note pop up that he needed to postpone his $147 down payment to us because he had a flat tire. 147 bucks. Guy, guy's got his life back together. Had to postpone his credit repair 
for $147 for a couple weeks. He's one of the 76, right? 76% live paycheck to paycheck. One of the 67% that couldn't come up with 500 bucks if he tried, if he had to. Now, I'm not ragging on the guy because it's the majority of you out there. It's okay. I understand it. It's not that you have a money problem. So you have a spending problem. And that's a different video for a different time. But I can prove it to you. If you and I sat down together and did a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, I would prove to you it's not a money problem, my friend. It is a spending problem. And if you want to stop the potential of hell breaking loose, stop using your debit card. Don't carry the debit card. Don't carry your social security card. Don't carry more than two, three credit cards at any time. You have a spending problem. Stop carrying the debit card. It's just too damn easy. It's too easy. And I'll share with you real quick to prove that you have a spending problem. I know, Shannon, you're watching yourself. Tell, tell Darren that. I think I have told Darren that. Uh, let's say you make $40,000. And I said, I want you to save 10% of your income every paycheck, every year. And I want you to buy a little bit of gold, a little bit of silver. Anybody can buy silver. It's, it's fairly inexpensive. It's real money. That's why I like silver. So Shannon, if you made 40 grand, I'm just making this number up. I have no idea how much money she makes. But if you make 40 grand, you live in Minden, the cost of living is fairly low compared to California, the great communist state of California and some of the other socialist places. But if you made 40, is there anybody, Shannon, anybody that lives in Minden, in your neighborhood, in Carson, in Reno, in that surrounding area that makes $36,000 a year? that's making it, that's still paycheck to paycheck. So that's the question I have for all of you, for you right now watching this. Can you afford to save 10% of your income? And you're probably going to say, no, I have too many bills. I don't make enough money. All right. So is there anybody that lives in your area that makes 10% less money than you? And the answer is yes. Don't lie to yourself and say no. I know for a fact there's people living in Shannon's neighborhood and Darren's neighborhood in their community making $36,000 a year and doing okay. They're still paycheck to paycheck, but they're still putting food on the table. A lot of people do. So if a lot of people can live off of $36,000 and you made forty, dollars why can't you live off of $36,000? It's not a money problem. It's a spending problem. Right? I know people that make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year that have zero savings. They're one of the 67% that can't come up with 500 bucks. It is a spending problem, not a money problem. It's not an earning problem. So one of the things that you can help with that spending problem is stop carrying your debit card. And if it's really a bad spending problem, stop carrying your credit cards as well. You know, I hate to say it, but you got you to gotta really buckle down. You got to figure out what you're spending. And I'm not a budget guy. I'm not a live below your means guy. I'm an increase your means guy. But if you have a spending problem, then you need to fix the spending problem, right? Because making more money is not going to fix that. You got to fix the spending problem. And one of the ways to help you with that is not to carry a debit card because it's too convenient to swipe it. But the other reason not to carry a debit card is if you get hacked. Someone someone clones your card, you lose your card. You know, Now I gotta call half a dozen companies and get my auto payment thing set back up. Cool thing is, it's a statement. I looked at, I looked at the statement last night, I calculated them up, and it's only like five or six people that I gotta call to give the new card when I get it. But what if, and one is my life insurance, by the way. What if I don't get the card in time to pay next month's life insurance? Think about that for a minute. 
What if I used a deb what if it was a debit card they hacked? And it takes me three months to get that money back. Because it can take up to three months when you use a debit card. When there's fraud on a debit card. Versus a Visa card, it's 24 hours, man. It's bam. It's back. What if they had hacked my debit card? And now they took 1100 bucks from me. And I was living paycheck to paycheck. And I couldn't pay my life insurance. And something happened to me. I got sick again. And I didn't make it out. Or I got my airplane and I didn't make it out. Or on my motorcycle or in my car. You know what I'm saying. I had a cousin uh, pass away just less than a week ago. She's driving, minding her own business. Her little boys are sitting in the back of the car. Somebody runs a, a red light, T-bones her and kills her instantly. Now, the kids are orphaned. You know, you never know when your time is up, Right? But how horrible would that be if something happened to me and I didn't pay my life insurance because it was attached to a debit card and now my wife's not getting $5 million? That'd be pretty freaking horrible, wouldn't it? It'd be hor- I wouldn't care. I'd be gone. But what about my kids? What about my wife? What about my employees? See, you got to think about these things. Because if the insurance premium wasn't paid, they don't always have to pay pay it out. Right? I know how busy life is. What if, you know, maybe if it's a couple days late, it's not that big of a deal. But what if I was so busy in my life that I forgot to turn the automatic payment back on? And like many of you out there, I didn't check the mail. I just let it pile it up. I didn't answer the phone calls from the unknowns and the 1-800 numbers because I'm running from a collection company. What if it was the insurance company calling me? It's not their responsibility to pay the bill, right? It's my responsibility to pay them. But out of convenience, they'll call and they'll send me letters saying, hey, you need to pay your insurance bill. What if my debit card got hacked I didn't start I didn't fix the auto payment. My life insurance got shut off. I died. And I left my family with less than 5 million dollars less. That would be tragic. Are you willing to take that chance with your family just so you can be convenient? Have some convenience with the debit card? I know that's a long stretch, but not really, not that far off. I deal with clients all the time. They call in. Their debit card got hacked. Their insurance on their car didn't get paid. They got rear-ended. The car got totaled. Now the insurance company says we're not going to pay, and now they have a judgment because the car wasn't paid off and it was financed. Every, every, uh, I'm not going to say every day, but it's, it's often enough that it's heartbreaking. And that's why I talk about not using a debit card, not ever carrying the debit card, never using the debit card because it can literally wreak havoc in your life. If you like the video, please share it. Tag a friend. Hashtag Fortress Credit Pro or Bad Credit is a choice. You will be entered into the drawing to win uh, silver, real money, potentially. I might give away some gold this month. Here's what it sounds like. Doesn't that sound good? I don't know if it sounds good on your end, but it kind of sounds good on my end. <laughs> but if you want a chance to win some silver coins, uh, they're valued about less than $25, anywhere from $20 to $25. Bucks. There's this one. This is the Freedom. Or is that Liberty? That's Liberty. You know, it's kind of hard to see. I wish the... You know, they shipped my new iPhone yesterday, so... Maybe I'll have it the next day or so. This is Republic of Armenia. A 500... Can't read out my glasses on. I'm getting old. Uh, oh, this is Noah's Ark. Let's see if I can share that. Can you see it there? Yeah, there a little bit. That's Noah's Ark. This is a silver bullet shield. Silver bullet shield. There's the shield on the back. And I think that's Methuselah. 
I said it was a really pretty coin, pretty girl on it, but I think it's Methuselah. And it says Freedom. This is Year of the Ram. It's got a little ram on it. And yes, my beautiful wife, I did say gold. Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. And then the last one, I'm not sure what this is. I need to get my glasses to see it. Um, but on the front is a prospector. Pretty cool. There's a prospector. You know, and as an entrepreneur, you always got to be prospecting. As a salesperson, I always got to be prospecting, right? As a single person, you got to be prospecting. But on the back, it's really cool. It's got a prospector tool. Um, I need my glasses. I can't really see everything that's on here. I can see very well a long ways away. 2010 vision, but up front I can't see very much anymore. Anyway, if you'd like your chance, you can enter as many times you want every day. You can uh, enter multi, like I said, you can enter as many times you want during the day and as many videos during the month. Just share the video, tag a new friend, hashtag Fortress Credit Pro, and you get your chance of winning some silver. And when you win, you'll just have to give me your address. I'm not going to spam you. I'm not going to send you anything, nothing. I don't want your email address. I'm simply going to mail this to you. So I'm going to finish this up with never carry a debit card, never use a debit card. Uh, it's bad news. 76% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. That's probably you. I want to help you with that, by the way. But if you're living paycheck to paycheck, the last thing you want to do is carry a debit card and give the world access to your checking account. Because if, you, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, you can't afford to have your debit card hacked. You can't afford it. You cannot afford to do it. So stop using your debit card. If you got bad credit, I think someone asked, what do you do if you got bad credit? Well, fix it. Fix your bad credit. Go to my website, FortressCreditPro.com, and get it fixed. We're running a special this month, by the way. It's kind of buy one, get one free. Uh, the spouse uh, or significant other, whatever, the second person, brother, sister, mother. I don't care who it is, but if two people sign up at the same time or five people sign up at the same time, uh, the second, third, fourth, fifth person doesn't have to pay the audit fee. Save you a couple hundred bucks. So FortressCreditPro.com. Remember. Don't ever carry a debit card. It's bad news. Do something great today.